if you're just joining us, this is Big Ambitions. It's like an RPG. Um, think of it like Grand Theft Auto, except it's um, top-down, and you're trying to manage businesses instead of ruining them. <laughs> okay? So it's like a be-who-you-want-to-be business simulator kind of thing. Um, we're playing on hard mode because I have lots of experience in this game. So I wanted to see how hard is hard mode. In this difficulty, we have less starting cash. Uh, our pricing power is reduced. We have uh, we have to pay people more. They have more demands, etc. Um, taxes are higher. Basically, our income is lower and our costs are higher. Okay, it's a it's a numbers game. I would have thought it would be even better for hard mode to also have. Uh, like, a more competitive environment would have been a cool thing to have for hard mode. I think it would have been really cool to have it be a more competitive environment where people, you know, let's say the demands are for everything are lower uh, because you have more competitors in, in your market. Why am I going in here with a full car, you dumbass? I haven't unloaded my car yet. <laughs> I'm leaving. I don't have anything in my trunk. You're just gonna have to trust me. I still hate where that pole is. <laughs> Cause I wanna turn right away instead of going around. First time I've seen you live, man. It's amazing so far. Hey, Eric. Thanks, appreciate it. I hope you come by more often. My car is full. I keep forgetting that it's full, <laughs> so. Uh, the Busy Goat. Oh, that would have been a great business name. The Busy Goat. I might buy the Busy Goat. I will change nothing about it. It will just be mine now. There's the business school. I'm trying to remember where the hell my stuff is. I can always open the map. I still think, um, like, another added feature, a feature request, I suppose, is uh, is a mini map, but only on vehicles that have a GPS built in, right? So like only certain cars will have GPS and they're expensive, right? Right now, it seems like the biggest benefit to having an expensive car for the player is just to be like, oh, look, I can go faster. And then there's an auto park feature as well. I think a mini map would be a really great premium feature for a luxury vehicle. And that way I could have a version of this, maybe zoomed in to about here, would be really great. It could just literally be this in a window. Um, and then I can see the names of the streets and all that stuff. And then if I have a point of interest, I would get maybe like in front of the car or, you know, you could have sort of like, okay, so hear me out on this, right? This view right here on a lot of GPSs, my car included, you have a picture of a car and then you have roads Right? And then you have like this blue line or green line or whatever it is, depending on what you're using. And that line shows you where your path is. And so if you have a car with built-in GPS, you would have that to like guide you where you're going, you know? It would be like this view with a, with a line and arrows showing you where to go. But that's only in like the expensive cars that have those features, right? So there's a perk, there's an actual like gameplay purpose to having an expensive car as opposed to, look at me, I have an expensive car. Um, I don't know why I keep messing this up. I am the worst gamer in the world, especially when I get to talking about things. I'm just the worst, All right? Seriously, car is full, needs to be dropped off here at this business, not the gift shop. Get out of your car and start managing your shit better. All right, so drinks, uh, go place it here. Kind of in the way, but. I could probably get away with it being like this. Yeah, just on the outside. But like they pay for it here and then go to the drinks fridge and get your drink. I like it. Uh, let's get the hand cart. It's gonna be right there. And I think I wanna move the hand cart Temporarily, I'm gonna move it right out here. So I can just get it really quickly and go. 
because things I'm gonna start like you know getting tables and chairs and all that stuff too seriously I have two hand trucks in ah <laughs> uh, no wonder my car was full it's full of hand trucks how very how very efficient of me uh cash register uh we'll just do two right there like that's fine and then uh we'll take the cabinet with drawers place that down like that uh, I'll take the cleaning station. That's gonna get placed back here. Uh, I, want, I want that to be right there. And then finally, paper bag. That's got my food in it. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm the worst. Okay, it's late at night. I'm about to get paid again. I can't really do much of anything, but I am going to definitely want to get burgers and fries and load up my storage. So we're going to do that. Employees, I need training. Training, training, and training. Oh, and then uh, real quick, employees. I want my cleaner to have the grift uniform. All right. So we're going to go get burgers and fries now. It's too late to buy them. Currently too late to buy them, but we can sleep in our car. So we'll sleep until this place until this place wakes up. So it's at 8 o'clock is when it opens. get into a parking space sleep until just before eight we don't want to waste any days I want to open on Monday if I can open Sunday actually be better but I feel like I'm probably gonna open Monday uh, I'll park the vehicle real quick go in here grab the paper bag full of our food consume oh I don't need to I don't I don't need to never mind put it uh, put it back Put it back in the car. I figured I would have to eat again. I guess not. So we only have seven spaces for stuff. Get paper bags. I'm not going to know which paper bag is my food and which one's, you know, the stuff. Uh, let's see. Burgers are over here. Pizza. Fresh food. I see the burgers, but where are the fries? Salad. French fries. Okay. So we want to get french fries. These are uh, a little less than a dollar a piece. This is what it looks like. Yeah, so we'll have an okay profit margin on fries. If I remember correctly, fries sell really fast. So about a little less than a dollar a piece on wholesale. It's better to buy here if you're playing this game. I know the game's going to tell you to go to the other wholesaler. It's better to buy here. The prices are better here. And you just have the option of buying everything. Like having everything available to you. And before you say, hey, the prices are the same, aren't they? Let's take a look at that, right? Cheap gifts, right? You can buy 200 cheap gifts here for 16.59. Remember that number, 16.59. 1659 for 200 gifts. Okay. Go like this. Place your order. 1659 for 200 cheap gifts. Now go to the wholesaler that the game tells you to go to. 1659. 16. 1659. We'll run in this this wholesaler here that the game wants you to go to. Sixteen fifty nine. The cheap gifts here are twenty one nineteen. You are paying way more for everything if you buy it from here. Go to the big one. That kind of price difference is very significant to your to your bottom line. 
Where do you get fuel and repair the car? The gas station. Um, I don't need to repair it yet or get gas, but I will eventually. I'm 47% on my tank. This is not the right road. This is definitely not the right road. It's supposed to be over here. Uh, we will just... Flip a B. Go around the indestructible trash. That's just like New York, you know? The trash on the side of the road. It does, it does feel as though... The, whoa! Whoa! It does sometimes feel as though trash is indestructible. Damn, I was really hoping there'd be parking right here. Eh, kind of got it. It's all right. A little further away, but I'll take it. And I got there before the before everybody else got in. Um, we want this one. 1,000 paper bags. We'll put that in the shelf. I wish I could take and split this and do 500 in each one rather than doing a th having to do 1,000. I wish I could do like 500, like a stack of 500. Because that way I wouldn't need to go get another stack of paper bags. But I'm hoping that if I place this here, that the employees, when I, when I staff them, that they will... Well, never mind. <laughs> it gets stocked already. Paper bags are already a thing. Never mind. So we have zero in this one, but 1,000 in this one. Uh, all right, burgers... Uh, you are going to be french fries. Oh, the same fryer does donuts. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Not like a separate donut fryer or something. Uh, I should have got the hand cart. My bad. I have to go get the hand cart right after we deliver this to storage. Deliver to storage. Good. Grab the hand cart. we go. That's why Costco hot dogs are cheap. They are so cheap. And they haven't risen the they haven't raised the prices even with inflation. I got to say as a shareholder, I own Costco. Um as a shareholder, I am distraught. I want to see hot dogs should go up at least 20 cents. <laughs> I really don't I really don't think that like, you got two businesses now, huh? <laughs> I think that's what the media calls a serial entrepreneur. Very nice work. I'll let you get back to it, and I'll catch up with you later, kid. I really don't think 20 cents per hot dog is going to change, you know, the number of hot dogs they sell. I really don't think so. Okay, so I think we're pretty stocked. Um, we do need to buy soda. We need to buy some more paper bags, and then we're kind of ready to open this place. And then this place can start making us money instead of costing us a ton of money. So, because right now we're just paying rent on a building. So, let's go get uh, more paper bags. And where are we going here? More paper bags and more soda. So, I can get both of those at the wholesaler anyway. So, let's just go to the wholesaler. Co. Costco co-founder told CEO he'd kill him if price of hot dog combo went up. <laughs> Come on, man. You're just being stubborn now. Hot dogs. They don't need to be that cheap. They got no business being that cheap. <laughs> let's do two things of soda. And uh, uh, let's go and do more burgers. I think I was a little light on the burgers the last run, right? I think I had it was three and two, I think. Three on the hot on the burgers and two on the hot dogs were our no. Uh was it, I think I got three three boxes of french fries and two boxes of burgers, I think. I forget. We're also eventually gonna serve hot dogs and stuff too here. I would like to do that. So if I can just find out where Hot dogs. Let's get two boxes of hot dogs, which are slightly over a dollar a piece. And we'll just buy those now. OK. 
Apparently the grift is dirty. Where's my cleaning lady? I'm paying her. She not doing the job? She's working every day. Well, okay. Working. In quotes. Every day. And yet people still complain about a dirty store. Right? Customer service. Everybody likes the cleanliness. I don't know what this thing's talking about. This, this is dirty and needs to be cleaned. It's just end of the day. Yeah, it's the end of the day is what it is. She works in the morning, so she'll have the place cleaned up in the morning, and then, you know, when people finally come in, it's clean, right? That's how that works. Business manager, grift, schedule. Huh? Oh, does she not work? Oh, she's not working Saturdays and Sundays. Okay, hold on. Let's have her, let's have her start earlier. I'll have you start at 7 instead. So this gives you, like, a full three hours to just clean the place. We work seven to, to one. Now you have 42 hours a week, which isn't great. So I'll reduce your hours by one every day. Work seven to noon. Yeah, you want full time. How much do you cost me? It doesn't say their rate. I want to see their wages. I have to right click them to see their wages. 35 an hour. Oh. Uh, like I want to see their I want to see their information on the hover. I don't like wages is a pretty important thing. If I especially if I'm right here and I'm trying to figure out who needs to work more hours and who works less, I would I would very much like to be able to see what everybody wants to make. What everybody expects to make per hour. $35 an hour cleaning lady. She better be, you know, I better start seeing magic with this mop, okay? Everybody's working 35 a week. Uh, my car is full, so I can't go to Ikea right now. I guess it's a good thing I'm going to the burger shop instead. Maybe a way to balance the store would be to require you to spend a certain amount of time every year to shop here like Costco does. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, of course. You're saying the wholesaler, right? Like, the small wholesaler in this game? It, honestly, they don't, they don't even need to exist. Like, their existence is pointless, in my opinion. Um, because their prices are way higher. But, you're saying, yeah, it's a balancing mechanic. In order to shop at the bigger one, I need to pay a, like maybe a daily rate instead, so it's more impactful. Or uh, it, it could be if it's annual, then it's every 60 days. It's not as impactful in the early game. It's like in the early game, you're still gonna go there. I guess if the fee is up front, though, if it's a steep fee and it's up front, then maybe it's like I need to shop there a lot, right? Um, and then you would also need that membership fee in order to get shipping. Oh, why did I do this again? I did it again. Um, you would also need that contract to be active in order to have your shipping contracts and stuff, right? Your your deals that you're making for automated deliveries. That would be something too, you know? Because we're going to do automated deliveries soon as well. I'm, I'm kind of holding off on it right now because it costs extra to do that. Like right now, the micromanagement, I can't afford more than two businesses anyway at the moment. So um, the micromanagement of going and like restocking things manually doesn't really bother me. But it, it, once you get to like three businesses, then it starts to bother me because um, then it's like the entire game becomes shipping simulator. And I, I, I start to have to deal with logistics more than I'm dealing with anything else. So at that point, then I just get shipping contracts. So that's how I do it because it's more expensive to take the del deliveries. Uh, hot dog. Oh, also, speaking of deliveries, and I haven't used this yet. Um, and, I, and once I have a good enough money, I will. You actually don't need to go and buy the appliances anymore. Uh, okay, you have to go buy them, but you don't have to actually like get them, put them in your car, and take them to your businesses. You can have them delivered now. You can you can work out a deal with the store to have all the stuff that you want to buy delivered to your business, and, and then it will. And then you pay an extra fee for that delivery service, but then they end up, basically everything you order will end up right here in front of your store on like a pallet. And then you just grab that stuff and you put it in. 
So like if I need to buy, you know, the industrial grill and like tables and all that stuff. Like when I go to when I go to Costco or Ica to get the furniture for this place, that's what I plan to do. Rather than getting a van that has that holds 20 and paying extra for the van, I'll instead go to Ica and say, hey, look, I want 10 tables and 40 chairs. And I have all this money, I'll pay for it, and I'll pay for the delivery, and then they'll just drop it all on my store on my doorstep, and I can just go in and out and and, and do that, and that's great. Training! No, I don't need training. I need staff now. Uh now is the time to actually bring them in. Uh, so they've been trained to 63. Their job satisfaction is bad because they're hired but not making any money, right? I'm paying for their training, they're not making any money yet. So I need them to get happier and therefore I need them to start working. So that's what we're gonna start doing now. So these three are gonna work at my new restaurant. Uh, so we are going to get a new preset. We're gonna call this one, uh, let's say, uh, what was it? Grill me slowly. Just GMS. GMS is grill me slowly. And then uh, I think we'll take the red and black. I like that actually. We'll just keep that. Um, darker black pants should be good. Yeah, I like it. I like everything about this actually. This is a, this is this is great. Take this, uh, and then you are almost already set up. So the only thing we really change is we give them black pants. That's the only thing I'm gonna bother changing. Yeah change that's it so gms has these two actually we want to change your how come you have black dress shoes and you have like these chuck taylor sneakers well it is what it is it's fine um and then maybe we we could do the apron thing but nah i don't think so i don't think so we'll just leave it like this all right, good. So that's the uniform you guys will have. GMS, GMS, and GMS. And then you guys are assigned now to grill me slowly, all three of you. And you have different time requirements. So I need to go in and take a look at the schedules and how I want. We're gonna flip on all days. It's at night now, right? So they'll start in the morning. Um, you have three employees. There are two cash registers. We do not need, the game might bug me. We'll see. It used to bug me about this. Um, I hope it doesn't do that anymore, but it may. Uh, we have two cash registers. So if there's ever a point in time in which one of the cash registers are not being worked, the game will like, at least it used to. I don't know if it does anymore. It'll kind of like nag you like, hey, you got a place as people aren't working there. I'm okay with that. Two cash registers are fine. It allows me to do overlapping schedules during really busy times and have a lighter schedule with less employees during the slower times. Um, so um, I'm okay with that. We'll start with, uh, since we're really only serving, you know, kind of burgers and fries, I don't think we need to start before like 10. So we can go like 10 to 10, um, five hours a day for some of these guys. And then the part-time worker, because one of these guys right here, you want to be, Theodore wants to be part-time. Uh, Steven wants full and Harriet wants full. So we'll say Harriet and Steven kind of work you like this, let's say. We'll apply that schedule to every day. And so currently that gives you each 49 hours a week. So what we'll do now is we'll say Saturdays, Harriet doesn't work, Theodore does. Okay. There we go. Um, oh, wait, sorry. I still have the all days thing. Turn that off. Now we'll say Saturdays, Theodore works like this, but Harriet doesn't. Sunday, we'll replace Steven. Theodore can go here, okay, like that. So we're gonna reduce the hours that these guys work. Friday, we can say Harriet's off, Theodore works. And Thursday, we can say Steven's off, and Theodore works. Now I think, yeah, part-time is less than 30 hours. So we'll wanna do something like that. That gives everybody shift, everybody's happy, nobody's on cleaning and that's okay because I'll take cleaning for now. Move the soda fridge to the back, Charlie. Why? The customers don't get their own soda? <laughs> You're probably right. The customers probably don't get their own soda. There. Oh my gosh, they're all, look at them all come in. Holy moly. 
I am going to need to assign myself to one of these places. <laughs> I am going to need to work one of these registers for sure. Yep. All right, burgers and fries for everyone. Come on in. Yeah, we got a uh, need for more cash registers. Absolutely. Holy cow. Okay, we need more cash registers. I also need a better interior because everyone's going to complain. Uh, how, how about we brighten the place up? Yeah, I think we brighten the place up. Let's go... I don't, really, don't want to have like $100 walls, but... At least it's not $170 walls. It's really dark in here, isn't it? I mean, it is nighttime, I guess, but... Holy cow. I think for now, it's okay if they're upset about... Stuff. <laughs> Uh, maybe floor first. Let's do floor first. How about we... Yeah, brighten this place up. Let's do, like... That's a lot of floor. That's a whole lot of floor to do. $5,000 in floor. Holy cow, that's gonna be expensive. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to commit. Can't find a place to sit down. Yeah, they're, they're leaving because there's no place to sit down. That's because there's no place to sit down. It's a fast food restaurant, but they still want to sit down. Uh, again, though, I, I don't have the... I just need the place to make money. So they buy things and then, you know, whatever. I'm definitely going to need more registers. Place is finally closed. Okay. So I don't need to work this register anymore. But, like, that was... That was pretty nuts. There's a lot of people coming there. Uh, so... I was definitely needed on a second register. We're going to need more people on more registers. And it looks to me like nighttime is really hopping for the restaurant. Um, we'll have to see how this chart works uh, over time. If I take a look at the grift, let's just see when people come in. See, and extending it, right, later into the evening might even be a better thing, right? So if I can, maybe I give everybody one extra hour uh, on this. Maybe we say Monday... Let's say Mondays were open until 10, right? And we can just kind of do one of these numbers, give everybody an extra hour on these days. Tuesday, we can be open until 10. Give you guys an extra hour on both of these days. And then Wednesday, we're open until 10. We'll try this as like a, as a one day only thing, just to see what that does for us. And then um, Lauren can work, like say two extra hours on Wednesday, two extra hours on Tuesday and one extra hour, I guess, on Monday. I don't think, I actually, I don't think that'll matter. Yeah, it, that doesn't matter. Let's just keep her where she is. Because it's just, that's just the cleaning job anyway. Um, but we'll, we'll extend our hours on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. See what that does on the gift shop. Um, more realistically, you would want to do it on the weekends. Yeah, you know, if I'm thinking real life. Um, but those days are only Libby. So I need more employees if I'm going to do those days like that. Um, so, so far, people are satisfied with everything except customer service, which just takes training. Let's go ahead and get to, say, 825. I made $2,500 yesterday. That's pretty nice. Paper bag, consume food, put the paper bag back. And then we're going to Ica. We gotta get furniture, places for people to sit. I think it's this road. I'm not sure, but I think it's this road. Yeah. It's just one over, because uh, they don't open until 10, of course not. Ugh. The brakes aren't very good on this car. That's what it is, it's the car's fault. Uh, they open at uh, what time? 10 o'clock. So we just need to be something like this. Okay, let's go back in the store. <coughs> right at the opening. And now instead of d instead of grabbing that stuff, um, I want to go in and talk to these desks. So these guys in this office, you can talk to the store managers instead, right? And you can set up a delivery for what you want instead. And so we could say, grill me slowly and delivery time. 
Okay, well, uh, I'm okay with it coming at, uh, looks like Monday at 10 is the earliest, so we'll say Monday at 10. It'll be an extra $250 to deliver the product, but we can now shop like this. And we can find the things we want and add it to our cart. So I'm looking for really cheap tables, <laughs> honestly. Uh, just really cheap tables and chairs, all right, would be great. So, um... One thing I would love to see in this is a filter. A filter would be great. Uh, at the very least, alphabetical order would be good too. At the very least. We don't have that though, it seems. Okay, so I'm gonna say we want... Um, I just need tables, standard table. Add to cart. And let's buy, to start, we'll say four tables. Four tables, yep. Uh, and then we'll say regular chairs, yep. We'll say uh, 12. I can't get any more than 18 things delivered, apparently. So 12, 12 chairs and three tables. That'll be fine. That'll be the order. So total comes to 2620 and they'll deliver it tomorrow. So they're gonna deliver that for me. Um, now I can also shop myself, but I can get another delivery if I want to as well. Um, I don't think I need to, oh, I can't. Okay, never mind. I thought I could get another delivery set up, but no. So that'll at least deliver some things and then the rest of it I can go and do myself. So if I'm doing it myself, let's get maybe some decorative things. Uh, we could say standard office desk. No, this this is the table we're getting, right? Yeah. So maybe I just get an extra table myself. One, let's say one table. Uh, we'll just do two tables, and then one. Trying to click the, not the plant. Square desk plant. No. Oh, I'm clicking the standard table. Is what I want. Weird, it's getting, it's taking the plant, not the table. Yeah, that's, that's odd. Can I get it somewhere else? Can't find any cash register. Oh, well, you see, that's actually not at all. There it is, standard table. One, two, and then the chairs. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, six chairs. That's eight items. I can't, I can't do anything more than eight items in my car anyway. So there we go. We'll follow the yellow brick road. The cash registers. I can't find them. There's arrows on the. Just follow the air. The literal arrows on the floor. <laughs> uh, clicking. Clicking things in here is a nightmare. That's the first time I've ever seen like the game select something that wasn't highlighted. All right, there's already some cargo in here, which is my bag of, it's my bag of food. So I'll just consume the food and then discard this and then stick all that stuff in there. Gosh, it'd be nice to take that flatbed with me, wouldn't it? Instead, I'm gonna park it right in my way. I love this game. I also like your vids that you do for it. Thanks. Appreciate it. I tried my hardest. Making videos is real tough right now. It's one of the reasons why I'm kind of focusing on streaming at the moment. It's uh, just really tough to... It's tough for me to make videos at the moment, schedule-wise. Streaming is nice because I get to, you know, get hours of, of content for you guys, and I don't have to worry about editing and rendering it out and uploading. And then I have to, you know, I, I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Um, so it's it's nice to be able to, hmm. you know, I'm not entirely sure I like where these tables are anymore. Mm -hmm. But look, there's at least a place to sit down. So there you go, guys. And then tomorrow all that other stuff gets delivered. 
though. I mean, I can go get the stuff myself. I can still make another run. But I think now is probably the time to start thinking about getting a van. I wish I had square tables. Or at least allowing them to be properly positioned to be used. Because you can, you can do things like holding alt and kind of place them where you want without the grid. You can do that. But then they won't... I don't believe they're going to be smart enough to interpret that as being used with this table. Right? Like, I need them to be smart enough to say, oh, I can sit at this table with this chair. And I don't think they'll do that if I place this with alt. I guess we could always do science. Find out. If I place this here, I'm fairly certain they won't use that chair. Well, if anybody ever sits here and eats, then we'll know, then we'll know that that's how it works. Oh my god! It's so awkwardly quiet in here. Oh, this is so place is so ugly. Well, you're right. Tell you what, I got fifty three hundred dollars. We'll do a little bit with the floors, okay? We'll just say, we'll do this part, right? A little bit more for the floors. We'll brighten it up, okay? Very bright, All right? Give you your small, small bit of sunny disposition inside the restaurant. All right. Market price is two dollars for this stuff, but. I think we can probably charge. We can charge like a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit under the market price. That'll make people come to me, right? I wonder if like change is even a thing. Like all I see is straight dollars here. I'm wondering if it's actually keeping track of it. It looks like it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's keeping track of that. Okay, good. Uh, how's the grift doing? Can we see? Uh, not not today. I have to see it later. I have to see it after today. Let's see if there is any time left to go back to. Whoops. There's any time to go back to IKEA? You actually will see damage on the car. If you're wondering, it's not just a percentage that's here. You will actually see the damage on the car. If you hit things hard enough, especially. It's like right now, you may not be able to see it because how small it is, but there actually is a dent in my back bumper when I hit that guy. I'll just like show you really quick. There is a dent right there. My back bumper just got wrecked. So you will see physical damage to your vehicles when you do things. There's some scrapes and stuff right here. There's a dent in that door right there. So it, that's actually being simulated and where you hit too. So it's kind of cool. Someone was sitting in the chair. Is he eating in the chair though? If he's eating in that chair, then we're good. Then we're solid. But you see, I, I see this and I'm thinking, okay, this is how the chairs are supposed to be, right? And maybe I actually kind of like the way this is. So maybe, maybe I'm just gonna say, I don't care about that. Just let it be. All right, I got in here before they closed, so we're gonna... Let's see, uh... Standard table. I want the same color, though, so it'll have to be this one. Standard table, one, two, and then chairs. Three, four, five, six, like that. Get more people the ability to sit down and eat. All right, I'm pouring tons of money into this place. Better make it back. And we won't need to make another run for tables. And we won't need to yet anyway. Not until we get like really popular or something. But I think the rest of my money, I'm gonna save it for... Um, I'm gonna save it for other things like paint. We need speakers and stuff too. So actually getting another run would be, probably be a good idea. I can get plants and, you know, stuff like that. I, I'd like to also get, like, a place to lounge a little bit, you know? Like, televisions in the building and, like, a... I don't know. We can get, we can get televisions... Yeah, trying to park this. Like, a couch and stuff, right? Probably be a good idea. I don't know if they'll use it, but... The place is getting a little bit dirty, isn't it? Table there. Uh, let's... 
Let's actually try this. Let's move this one over. Yeah, see, so they'll sit there, but see how it's not attached to the table? I don't, this is what I say, I don't think they're actually using it for that purpose. There we go. So we'll, we'll have it be like this for now. Let's get that hand cart. And we'll save the rest of our money for, you know, paint and floors and all the other things that they expect of us. We need a radio too, yep. Uh, regular chair. I do wish I could hold shift and have a stack of whatever I'm having. Like if I have anything else in storage, it should just be allowing me to place that, but that might be too complicated. Let's move the hand truck to be over here for now. Move that trash bin to here. That way this isn't crowded. Then when the new tables and chairs come in, we'll uh, put the tables um, maybe on this side. I actually have enough room, I think, for one more row of tables here, but there's a lot of people that stand in line. So I'm thinking like, I want this area open so when people are standing in line, right? Yeah. Uh, and then also let's maybe just complete that so I don't have to... So those, those back ones are good. Um, I may also decide to switch them this way. I don't know, like maybe right up against the window, kind of like this. That could be good too. I don't know. I don't think it matters. I mean, the interior design would eventually matter, but I don't think it matters. Um, let's make sure this place is clean because it's filthy for now. I like how the customers really care how my stock room is. You need to, you need to put up lightings by yourself. Um, so at night, the building comes with lights, as you can see. But if you want more light than this, then yeah, you can put your own lights up. But you see, the building does come with some lights. And then during the daytime, you have the windows and stuff too. So like during the day, it's not going to be very dark in here. But when people come in at night, then yeah, it's probably a good idea to. Yeah, there we go. So, did you get a call from the bank? They must be shocked to see what's happening with your account while <laughs> the way it's growing. You should find yourself a nicer apartment and buy yourself some really nice furniture. You deserve nope. it. Nope. Not gonna buy luxuries yet. Time to grow your business even more. Keep that momentum running. That's what I do in my regular life. I don't buy nice things. If I, even if I deserve it, I won't buy it unless I, unless I think it can pay for itself. I have, I've gotten very close though. I'm so close, honestly, of buying something nice for myself. Because it'll make me feel better. And that is, uh, joysticks. When I'm... You know, doing the whole Star Citizen thing, man. I'd really like to. I really like to have a pair of joysticks. I'm looking at those VKB uh, Gladiator NXTs, and I'm I'm thinking, yep, this is where I want to be. This is where I want to be. Okay, there should be plenty of spaces for people to sit now. Um, we don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. We can start focusing on more decorative stuff and investing in interior design, where we just got paid yesterday, so have time to put in some more floors and maybe out to let's say god that's expensive put more flooring in like that okay um we brightened it up see it's already looking brighter already uh probably going to just real quick take a look at our stock i don't need to do it with the shelf i can do it right here uh, bang! Look at that, huh? Interior rating is low. We're gonna work on that. Customer service is low-ish. I feel like we could probably work on that. It might be the wait times because there's a lot of people coming in here. Um, stock's looking okay. Probably could take a look in getting to more soda tomorrow. And then we still don't have the ability to serve hot dogs, so therefore, you know, not serving them. But 
they should be nice. They should be satisfied with our uh, our pricing. Yep. We're under the industry pricing. But notice how my capacity is only 20 per hour. And that's because the grill adds 20. The building has 30. So we will never get to 30 unless I get a second grill. Same thing with the frying machine. I need a second frying machine to get to that full building capacity. Drink machine too, right? Each cash register adds 20 capacity. So I have two, that means 40. But you're only as good as your weakest link. And so if I want to have the full building limit, eventually I'm gonna need an extra grill, an extra frying machine, and an extra soda can machine or drinks fridge. Um, and then as I start serving hot dogs, same thing. I'm gonna need two of them to serve. So there needs to be a lot of room available for our kitchen. Get the frying machine for the hot dogs. You you don't fry hot dogs. You 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 grill hot dogs. If I wanted to serve donuts, I'd get a frying machine, but there's no reason to do that because the fast food restaurant won't serve that stuff. Just check in on my store. Hey, looking looking snazzy. Um, cash register. Got a little timer on it. I'm wondering if that just means it's running out of bags. Yeah, it might be it's running out of bags. Seems like we're good. Um, I think I'm just gonna... Can I just merge these two together? It's fine. You know what? Just, just place it here. It's good. Uh, so we're getting close to the point where I want to start thinking about having delivery contracts. Not, not quite yet. Um... I think, I'm, I think I'm good to do this manually for a while, but I do want to see... I don't remember exactly how much the van cost. Because that'll, that'll give me the ability to kind of truck my own stuff for a bit, and I can do so better. Where is my... Oh, right. I parked it by my house. It's like, dude, where's my car? This game does need more music. Like I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the way it is. Like you hear the city, right? Um, if you, you can also hear music coming from other places. Which I know you can't hear it very well. I can hear it in my headphones. If I jack the audio up for the for the game, you'd be able to hear it a little bit better. Sometimes the cars will have their radio on and their windows down. And you'll be able to hear, you know, you'll be able to hear, hear the music that other people are listening to. And then every time you're in the car, you get music too. So it's, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so a short nap looks like. We've been up all night. We've been awake too damn long. Uh, we actually don't need to be up this late. I do want to get there uh, at that delivery. So let's say 9.30. 9.30. Uh, we'll hold off on the food. Now. And then I want to get over there to see that delivery. We're having the extra furniture and chairs delivered at 10 o'clock. I want that car. Look at that hot rod. Look at this nice expensive car. This is a GTA, right? Just smash the window. Oh, we don't have enough money for the delivery. Oh, I thought you already took the money from me. Oh, I was mistaken. I thought they had already removed the money from my account. We haven't been able to charge the 2620 required to process the delivery. So the delivery has been canceled. I see. I, 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 if I had, yeah, if I had been paying attention, I would have known that they hadn't, they hadn't taken the money yet. Well, I mean, I did get my own stuff. I mean, it's, that's okay. Um, let's um, let's go get the radio, right? They want music in the restaurant. That makes sense. Even though very few restaurants, at least in the United States anyway, very few restaurants have music playing. In my experience anyway. Um, higher end places will have it. Fast food restaurants don't bother with that kind of stuff. Um, although I have heard 
I have heard it, at least around me anyway, I have heard it playing like in the back, you know, like the grill and stuff. They'll, you know, the kitchen staff is playing their own tunes and everything. I've heard that before, but I don't really, I don't really hear it much in the lobby. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. Okay, well, uh, I do want more chairs. I would like to at least get the chairs for that table. So why don't we, real quick, we'll just go in and grab at least, uh, I believe it's four chairs for that one table that's there. And then we're gonna want two of these speakers. The big place. Um, what else? What else, what else, what else? I don't think there's any benefit to like bringing a television. I also like how the television, this big flat screen TV is cheaper than the speaker. It must be a really nice speaker. Eh, we'll get a television, why not? <laughs> Let's treat ourselves. And uh, yeah. I think that's probably good for now. I don't see anything else I really wanna grab. Uh, maybe some of these plants. Potted plant would work. Let's get two of those. I can't get two of those. I can only get one of those. Let's, uh... Eh, let's ditch the TV for now. I don't, I don't think that's gonna help my ratings at all. I think the plant will help my ratings more than the television will. At least in my restaurant, I think it will. Uh, looks like I have to pay for my stuff before I leave. Of course. I mean, I'm a rebel, but I'm, I'm not that much of a rebel. There we go. All right. Um, we could probably close. What does this want me to do? Buy a desk, chair, computer, place the desk in your new apartment. Oh, it wants me to have a new apartment. I, I'm going to close this for now. The objectives window. We can just close it whenever we want. We can close this window too, but I like it open. Small speakers are 80. Yeah, but you have to place them on a surface. As far as I understand, you have to put them on like a, like on a counter or something. And then the price of the counter ends up, you know, taking you back. So you end up paying more anyway. All right, so we'll park here and real quick, we'll go in. Let's grab the speaker. It's probably gonna impact them the most, the fastest. Place that speaker here. And then we'll turn it to like that volume, I guess. Um, let's grab this. Looks like we're out of stock. Uh, we're out of burgers, or we're getting very dangerously low on burgers. Okay, so I need to make a run. I need to make a stock run for that too. I think we'll probably start getting delivery contracts. So I can focus on improving the place instead of running it, right? Let's just get real quick another chair there. This is probably all the tables we need anyway. If we start getting more business than this, then I can invest in more. But for now, I think this is enough tables. And I actually kind of do want to face it like this now. Yeah. I think that it looks like it, there's more space. It looks more spacious. Something like this. Yeah, and then the speaker, I guess I'll place it over here. Like that. We'll blast really loud music when they're trying to order. That makes sense. Okay, let's go do a real quick stock run. We get, It's 1,500, so should be plenty of time to um, get more burgers and such. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back up. We still have stuff in our car? Damn, I didn't. I thought I got everything. Nope. Here's that other speaker. Just put that over here. It's fine. Uh, and then. Grab the potted plants. And we'll just stick them. We'll stick one of them be like over here next to the plant. And the second one, we'll place it. Um, I guess over here, next to that door. Okay. I can't find the cash register. 